the question that we've been asked is, uh, you know, what is discounts, write-offs? Uh, there are so many options here. Discounts, add discount to invoice, write-offs, and reversing invoice. Like, you know, we'll stay away from this topic, but we'll try and, just, and add discounts, uh, this and write-offs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to have an initial client meeting. Let me put a flat rate, let's say $100. And I'm also going to have a disbursement. And we're going to understand how disbursement uh, discounts actually work. So I'm going to have uh, a fifty dollar discount at six fifty as XGST, and let's say it is uh, a court fee, right? And that I have. So the first process is obviously like you know you need to raise an invoice before you give a discount. There's no point in giving discount before invoice. So this one obviously is hundred and thirteen dollars of flat rate and a $56 of uh, disbursement. So let me create an invoice, right? Like I'm going to skip the preview uh, in, in this case. Uh, in the preview. Now I'll go back and complete yeah, invoice and download. Okay, so when you download the invoice, what happens is you need to go into your general tab to understand how uh, you know this is laid out so clearly in your general it tells you that there are two elements that you have built a legal fee of $113 and uh, a disbursement uh, you know of $56.50 right now what's write off write off is basically the client is not paying you this let's say he's not paying you $169.50 right you can just go here and just say I want to write it off right and you can say total discounts is 169.50 right and it would actually do 150 plus 19 but this is not the right way to do it because write-off should be broken into fee and disbursement separately so what you should do is you should actually write off 113 dollars right which would break it into 100 and that so that would basically write off the the legal fee portion of the invoice like as you see that like hundred and ten dollars and now like you know this is marked as a discount and similarly you can actually do a write-off you know for the disbursements portion so you can say this one is uh, fifty dollar uh, fifty six point five zero and it will calculate it as fifty and six dollars and then you mark it as disbursements write-off and now you will see that the whole thing will be right written off properly why should you be doing it like that the reason is to understand that you need to actually look at chart of accounts so if i go into the chart of accounts and i look at my uh you know uh, uh revenue right this this matter the revenue was in small claims right so if i go and look at my revenue right under chart of accounts revenue legal work small claims you will see that only the hundred dollars of invoice was marked here that's why the discount has to be marked here right and if i actually go into revenue right and recovery of expenses and look at expenses this is where the other 50 dollars of court fee came in and that's why it has to be discounted here that's why you need two separate write-offs one for the legal fee and one for um uh you know uh, the disbursement now this thing can always be edited so all you can do is if you become admin by going here and you see this orange button here you can always go back to the matter you can do undo unlock yourself right using an admin unlock and you can just get rid of it by just marking it as zero dollars the minute you do that you will now see that the projected balance will now become $113 right like you're getting rid of the discount right like you know, so, so I'm going to do that and we'll now see that the projected balance is back up to the original value of 169.50 so you can add discounts delete discounts very easily right now you could also insert discount into an invoice like if I reprint this invoice right you will see that the invoice does not have discount like you know this one you know it's actually a French invoice let me just reprint it in English reprint it in English and you will now see that it only has uh, you know uh, the legal
So that's your fees, that's your disbursement, and it summarizes everything. Now, if you want to take this invoice, 3180 and insert a discount right into it, you will use this special feature called add discount to an invoice, right? And you can add a discount. And in this one, you can say, hey, I am giving you, um, let's say, a $50 discount, right? Which is 56 it puts it as a courtesy discount and you can add it right inside that invoice right when you do that and then if you now reprint that invoice right reprint it you will now see that exact same invoice right now got changed and you know and now the discount got added and you see now that you know the legal fee got reduced and the disbursements are there and now the client only owes uh, you know $113 so this is a, a good way and then even in the invoice it nicely puts that it's a courtesy discount so that way the client knows that like you know that you offered him this discount as part of this invoice so we have understood uh, you know write-offs and dis discount to invoice what is discount this one is basically to put it into the next invoice like you know you kind of raised an invoice it's already gone out you're not going to send him that invoice again so you put this discount in the next one and then subsequently if you did more work it'll carry so that's why we have two features one to add discount for next invoice and this one is to inject it right back into the invoice that got created so to summarize uh you know you would just go here uh edit it right unlock it you need to put the pre-tax amount always right like you know, you'll say Fifty dollars. The software will uh, calculate the HST. Like in this case, like you know, it will calculate it as six fifty, and you can now see that it'll get further reduced fifty 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 six fifty. So when you look at the general tab, you will see now that you raised this invoice, but then you wrote off the fifty six dollars of disbursements because he's not going to pay, and then you reduced your original invoice by fifty six fifty. So the client only owes you fifty six fifty. So. To summarize, like discounts are used to reduce the total invoice outstanding for your client.